Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike, also known as Bowtie RN. I know I haven't really done a bow tie video yet. I did a video reviewing a razor with a bow tie on, but I haven't done any videos tying a, tying a bow tie. And why do I use a bow tie? I just think they're fun. They're fun, they're a little bit different, they're kind of neat. You can get them in just as many styles as you can a regular long tie, but they're a little bit more fun. Added benefit, once you have a bow tie tied, you don't have to be playing with it or touching it or messing with it. Don't have to worry about a tie bar or a tie pin or anything like that. And once you know the right length for your bow ties, you adjust all of your bow ties to the same length, tie them every time you put them on and you're done. Versus a long tie, no two pair of pants ever fit the same. So they fit slightly different spots on your abdomen. And if your long tie doesn't quite reach to your belt, it looks funny. Or if it goes too far past your belt, all the way down your zipper really looks funny. So long ties, you have to be so particular about tying the right length that I end up retying a long tie sometimes two or three times in order to get the right length. Maybe I'm just not good at it, I don't know. I do still use long ties, I'm not a hater. I just prefer my bow ties. So when I mentioned adjusting bow ties, now the bow tie I have right now is a standard bow tie. Another one I have actually has the pointed tips on it. I like this one a lot, but I went ahead and grabbed it just to show you the adjustment. On the back of it, you can take this little piece, take it out of little holes and adjust it for whatever size neck you have. It goes in and then when you pull it tight it's whatever length you need it to be. So, like I said, once you find the right length for you for a bow tie, you can take all of your bow ties, line them up across the bed, adjust them all to the same length, and you'll be within one or two notches on every single one. Every now and then you might have a shirt collar that's a little bit looser or maybe one that's a little bit tighter. I don't do tailored shirts, so my shirts fit however they are out of the package. You know, a 17 inch neck on one might be the same as a 17 and a half on another shirt, so. It's a little bit easier if you have the starting point for your bow tie, and then you can just work from there. Now, when it comes to adjusting the size, I've kind of found that I go from first tie, sorry, first button, second button, and that's roughly where I want my bow tie to end. What I mean by end is the neck piece, where it's nice and skinny, goes and starts to flare out. So that's roughly where I want my bow tie to sit. All right, so tying it. Doesn't matter which way you tie. You can tie right-handed, you can tie left-handed, whatever you like to do. I'm right-handed, so I tie right -hand, mine right-handed. So I'll pull that down to where I have one end is longer than the other. I'm going ahead and go ahead and cross over to where the piece I cross over crosses over right where it starts to flare out a little bit. So I'm getting most of the thin parts getting hidden, and then I've got it right at that start where, piece where it starts to flare out. Go ahead and hold that, tuck that up underneath, and I've got my first part of my knot. I can go ahead and leave that, leave that piece over my shoulder, not a big deal. Take this piece, fold it over, and you already see the beginning of your bow. That, once you tighten it up, is going to be your bow tie. That's going to be the front piece. So, you take this piece, kind of hold it right where it is, bring this piece back down and over. Once you have it there, you can take your two pieces, kind of fold them up to hold that in place so you don't lose it. Take your finger, no problem. And I like to spin it back to where my finger's stuck up in there. So fold it over my finger and I can hold it. Go to the back of this knot here and the back of the knot right behind where you folded it over, there's a hole you can put your finger through. When you put your finger through there, you can then take that piece that you've folded and held over here and start to feed it through. So start at one edge, kind of feed it through. And then once it's, once it's all the way through, you pull it nice. It's a little bit flat. Unfold this one. Then I like to check this part of my knot, make sure it's nice and flat-ish. And then I start adjusting. I know it looks like heck now, Tighten it up a little bit, pull that piece back through. So 
when I tighten, I just pull both of the folded pieces, so the front of this one, and then over here I pull both of them till it's nice and tight, and then kind of then I grab the unfolded piece and pull it back through and adjust it a little bit at a time until it's exactly where I want it. I like mine nice and tight. I have problems with symmetry, so I like things to be symmetrical. I know a lot of people out there that like the bow ties, they say the whole point of, be, of making sure it's a self-tied bow tie is make sure it's just a little bit asymmetrical. So anyone walking by can recognize that as a self-tied bow tie. And there again, bow tie's done. Not a problem at all. Took less than five minutes to do all that, and we're all done. So you can play with it a little bit. Um, I have a couple that are, uh, aren't quite as stiff material, so I have had to mess with them just a little bit more. Um, once it's there though, you're good. Another benefit of these, they're just kind of fun. I know I said in the very beginning, but again, they're kind of fun and they're a little bit different. You can get them in all the colors you want, matching up your shirts, matching with a nice pocket square, a nice jacket, a blazer, whatever you need to do. But there's not a lot of guys out there wearing bow ties anymore. So you'll stand out in the crowd. I don't always like to stand out, but when it comes to dressing and bow ties, it's just fun for me. Any questions, go ahead and hit me a question in the comments. Other than that, have a great day.